Hi, so far we learned on how to create a customer account groups and also number ranges and assign the customer number ranges to the customer account groups. So now I'm going to show you on how to uh, create a customer invoice and to create the customer invoice you can go to the FB70 or you can go using a transaction code FB70 or you can go to the menu path so menu path accounting financial accounting accounts receivable financial accounting account receivable and document entry so here is the one so I usually go to the easy hey, transaction you have a different e codes so you can do posting using either so we created a customer 8000 so I just use 01 01 2020 and 01 01 2020 and I just put the amount is 1000 and uh, also let's say our sales account is eight zero 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 one and I just put star press enter so the posting period is adjusted so it's processing here <coughs> press enter So our account here is a uh, sales revenue uh, which is domestic because this is a domestic customer so this is how I'm uh, seeing so now you can see the customer address data here so if you want to go directly from here the customer master data you can click on this and it will take you to the customer uh, information and uh, if you think okay so there's some information is wrong and uh, ba based on the invoices and uh, then yes you can easily um, modify uh, you know the customer information you see it is going here and this uh, data so you can go to the customer and you can modify uh, uh, any fields by clicking change and you can you can directly modify so this is a uh, one way if you want to directly modify any address details uh, before posting the invoice yes you can do that now go back to our invoice posting it's taking for a while Sorry about that, it's taking for a while to process. Uh, maybe, yeah. Uh just click refresh, maybe the console.
okay so finally we come back to the original transaction and sometimes this console will take a, a long time to process some jobs here background because I'm using the first time so now um, yeah let's simulate the document I will go through with you the other uh, details uh, sooner and this is just to quickly post after the setup to check um, the settings so fine you know when you simulate the system will show you what is will be the debit entry and what will be the credit entry so now I'm uh, going back uh, to explain you on the each tab so here um, you are having payment transactions yeah? there's a payment and uh, here you can uh, usually maintain <coughs> the payment baseline dates or, or uh, you know the each default it will take uh, based on the payment term so you can see our payment term is uh, 14 days is uh, um, 3% discount and 30 days is a uh, 2% discount and 45 days is a uh, net so you can maintain the payment method this invoice and uh, you can maintain any reference invoices here so let's say if you having any workflow setup uh, then you can easily um, maintain the block for payment and uh, automatically the system can also uh, while posting uh, whether it's a block for payment or a, a which payment method is needed also can be uh, maintained uh, under payment terms yeah so this is a payment term control uh, other these of the uh, fields also can be controlled by this otherwise it will be usually the free for payment yeah and the details here So on the details you can maintain additional information so you want to uh, maintain a business area or uh, any any uh, different uh, details so let's say um, I would like to maintain the business area for me and uh, you can see the GL account what is the GL account is actually uh, the system is posting here and this is called a, a sub ledger uh, for our AR so sub ledger for AR is trade risk and domestic So here I maintained uh, these two business areas for our um, training and the uh, business area one and uh, only the two. So I just maintain this business area information then uh, click simulate. The tax uh, we will come to the tax part later uh, when we are posting um, some more uh, invoices. So now I'm going to show a simple uh, invoice with our tax So now this is the document which is simulated. So now I click on post. Uh, don't 
don't confuse with the account here this is a 8000 customer and this 8001 is a GL account uh, here so if you want to see what is the GL, real GL account for this yeah you can choose uh, the recon account under the variance so usually all these customers is actually the open item managed accounts so what is this open item so the, we will come to that in the later part I'm, I'm going to explain what's the open item and how um, this can be handled so since I'm doing this posting uh, the first time yeah sometimes system take uh, too long um, while processing the posting so you see now finally we are able to post invoice for the customers and uh, yeah so uh, this is uh, like a simple setup uh, using the customers and uh, how you wanted to post and we do have a different setup um, based on the uh, you know uh, comp your business requirements and and also the pre-study you are doing uh, into your organizational needs or requirements and uh, yeah those I am going through as well and in detail in my next sessions uh, yeah so with this um, how AR uh, invoice will be posted I shown now I'm going to show you on how to uh, display a document so to display the document yeah you can go uh, general view sometimes it will take some time to show you here in the entry screen so when I go into general view and then come back to entry view then the system will show because updating tables in the first time uh, yeah it will take uh, for a while okay so this is a GL view because we don't have any uh, parallel edges or a document splitting or we are still uh, using only one GL which is a 0L which is a leading ledger so when I go entry view now yes you can see yeah so with this um, you know on how to post uh, uh, a document here now uh, in the later session I'm going to show you a uh, reports how to execute uh, AR reports and uh, also uh, aging analysis for the AR so before that we created an invoice so let's say you want to send this invoice to the customer so which is a uh, I'm talking here about only a pure EFI transaction so that there will be a billing document you can generate using the uh, SD module or, or a, uh, the, the agency business module or we have a different uh, modules for generating uh, uh, billing uh, or, or, or a sales invoice but here since you are uh, only using FI and how how you can generate the invoice uh, for this customer and I'm going to show in the next session uh, before that I would like to run on how to run open items so to run the open items we need to go to the ABL so here you can see the document entry and uh, information systems reports can go balances so here you can go here under account FD 01 n when you go here it will show uh, display balances for the customer what you have posted so now I execute 
So it will show 1000 uh, euro what we have posted uh, to this customer under this. can see this is uh, after posting you can see the transaction here you can double click so if you click on this column it will show only uh, in, in this cell it will only show debit uh, entries and if you have any credit entries you can uh, click on this only it will show credit entries when you double click on this balance and it will show both credit and debit and when you double click on this each cell uh, it will show cumulative balance so let's say if you double click here whatever the posted until the periods uh, it will show so this is the each click work here and uh, you have to be smart enough to check if you want to check uh, if you want to analyze data what are the total debits i recommend okay click on all this and if you want to analyze only the credit entries you need to click on uh, each of uh, these cells and the balances uh, for that particular period only it will show when you uh, double click on uh, each of the cell on a balances so cumulative balances yes and uh, usually the system will generate a cumulative balance um, for the entries so uh, with this um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, end my session uh, to, to show you on how um, it can be shown uh, in in the in the financial statement so now yeah when you go into the financial statement the system will show a debit entry and a credit entry and, and all this here yeah it's not responding and maybe it will take a for a while because of the clicks yeah you see you can see here this is how it is showing so i will uh, usually you can uh, simply go into the switch list and it will show you uh, when you switch list it will show you alv list or, or a normal list based on the selection whatever we have Yeah, switching list taking a long time. Eh? Sorry about that. I just want to show you how. Uh, and in this layout, um, you do have a uh, uh, special features. You know, you can do mass change uh, using this uh, uh, ALV list, or you can do uh, a summarization. You can click on the any of these uh, columns. So here, the, if you see the summarization is happening. Uh, by, by the customer and also by open item here so if you see there's a red arrow uh, on the top a small uh, arrow here so it means the summarization is happening by customer and also a total open item uh, values so if you want to have a, a 
by document type and also by customer then you need to select the first uh, the document type and then control and select uh, uh, account then if you click on uh, there is a sigma by sigma here so subtotals then the system will show the subtotals by uh, even document type and also the, the different transaction so here we have uh, let me show you under settings basic list special page uh, we don't see the customer information on on the top yeah so it is based on the uh, layout settings and we will come to that uh, line item settings later and uh, yeah this is how you can switch uh, the layouts so if you want uh, additional fields uh, from this you can easily select uh, here what are the fields is needed so let's say I want to know what is the GL account so just click on here and uh, click OK click enter then the system will show the GL account so this is a sub ledger account uh, and this is a uh, customer account he under here so when you click on uh, here you can choose and uh, what other information is needed so let's say I want terms of payment also which is needed for uh, uh, this customer then I need to click on here and uh, I click click OK the terms of payment also will be shown here so these are the uh, all the available fields you can analyze each and every of these and uh, you can uh, you know uh, put it under your layout so after that I would recommend uh, you need to save the layout so once it's ready with your all criteria whatever you choose don't forget to change and uh, if you want user specific then it should not have any uh, spec slash here so uh, if you need um, any local if if you select this user specific then no one can view your layout and uh, it's only visible for you mm, nothing nobody else okay so this layout how uh, it is used so let's say if you don't select this box and if you put backslash here and uh, this will be uh, visible to everybody and uh, yeah, anybody can use uh, your layout click save yes because this is my existing layout I want to overwrite so um, this is how the system is showing so yeah this is a uh, how you can view the line items and uh, in my next session uh, I am going to show you on uh, how to generate invoice and account statement and uh, from the invoice what we have posted thank you thank you for watching my videos thank you